hello and welcome back to my channel once again the place where i review all my new pickups and then talk about all things sneakers and streetwear cool let's get straight into this box as you can see new pickup i'm a little bit late on this review so you've probably seen tons of these already on youtube but i thought i'd still get into it i've got a few life things that are kind of getting in the way at the moment but hey ho that is life Get this out of the way. And we can get straight into the box. So you can probably see from the flip, these flip wings on the on the box, you're probably pretty used to what this looks like now. Um, so this is the Women's Air Jordan 4 Retro OG SP Special Projects in the Fossil Stone Metallic Pewter colorway. And I have gone TTS in a men's 12. There will be some on body later, so I'll be able to tell you how they fit if you haven't seen that in a video already. Um, and just as I'm opening this, there's a huge surprise for me in that he sat for days on the Armamania website. And um, this is the Armamania Jordan 4, um, but we'll get to that in a sec. Um, typical box that you saw on the threes, so I won't go into a huge amount of detail there you do get this um, burgundy kind of like bag. I have heard some people say that it rubs off onto the fossil stone color, so you might want to check your pair and see if that's happening, or just make sure that this is kind of wrapped around and blocking that from happening, because there is no ink rubbed onto mine. Okay, we will get the red off the box, get this out of the way. Cool. So this is the pair. As I said, you've probably seen them before. Um, I've seen a lot of professional picks online um, in the lead up to this drop and then post. I'm not going to bother taking loads of pictures of these because I think way better pictures already exist. What I am going to do is hold them off to this side and insert said imagery up here. So cool. Let me start with this side because it has the hang tag. So you have the hang tag the one that we've seen before on the threes that just dropped. Link up in this corner to my video on that. Um, the A on the tongue, which is pretty cool. Um, and then on the insides, you have the typical Amamanier quilt. But then you, what you also have in here is the Amamanier logo all over the inside of the tongue. And it does actually say Amamanier on the inside of the tongue, which is also pretty sweet. We have Nike Air branding, which we all love to see. Um, and what, one thing I think is really, really cool is under the netting here, you also have the Alamania A repeated over and over and over again. That's really cool. And I think something we haven't seen before with, the, with their collaboration. So it's an all over fossil stone upper on here with a shorter head suede on the toe and then wrapping around to the rest of the shoe. I actually use the other side so that I don't have that hang tag flipping around. But yeah, this is all like a short head kind of new bucky suede. Feels really premium to the touch. And then around the mud guard, you do have the much more nappy longer head suede, um, which again is pretty, pretty nice. I would say overall, it's a very premium shoe. The insole, again, I'll, I'll insert, insert pictures. The insole has that repeated A everywhere. And then on the tongue, on this side, you get the jump man and it is, I would say that's a plastic. Um, but you do get the jump man, and then obviously on this side, you get the armor man, yeah, eh? Um, they come with two spare sets of laces. This is white. What is in here is fossil stone, and then this is the same cream that you got with the threes. I am going to be putting these in for the on foot. Um, so just be aware that, that I will change them up before I do that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like a really quick, I, I didn't want to spend too much time on the colorway because as I say, I'm going to be shooting pictures in here and they're pretty easily available. Cream outsole, cream midsole, and then a couple hits of black. So you'll see with a few of the fits I've put together, I have featured some black in there to make sure and kind of take advantage of the, um, contrast or not contrast matching against here and then contrasting against the purple. Cool. So just bear with me one sec um, while I get a few pairs to compare to, which I usually do in these videos, and we'll kind of take the video from there. A few moments later. Cool. Welcome back. 
Um, so now that this fossil stone colorway has dropped um, on the Amamania range, when it comes to the threes and the fours, which is how, where I feel Amamania are kind of mainly focusing, they've done some twelves, they did two, um, they did some fives. At least from my collection perspective, this is the set that I'm really focusing on. I do have the ones and the twos as well. Um, but now we have like a dark and a light on the four and a dark and a light on the three. So I feel like the collection is kind of nearly complete. Um, and we may we may see an end to this. I don't I don't know. But for me, I, I've had this kind of collection in mind for a little while to, you know, to kind of like as a, as a, as a as something to strive towards in terms of the collection. So for me, I feel like these fit really well into this lineup. Clearly on the threes, they've gone black and white. And then on the fours, they've gone purple, but let's go dark and light. Um, so, so yeah, I'll, I'll just move these out of the way. Just wanted to kind of show them all together. Um, but that kind of brings us on to our comparison. Um, as I said, dark and light in terms of the colorways. Um, I would say like there's a similar level of premiumness. I'm just checking to see if, no, there are no A's embedded under the netting um, on the 2022. This is the Violet Ore, and this is the Fossil Stone. But you can see a pretty similar block where it's an overall purple, and then you have the black and then cream on the midsole on both pairs. I think the outsoles are identical. Yes, the outsoles on them are identical. Um, and if the Violet Ore came with um, cream laces, I would probably have worn them that way. Um, trying to figure out a way maybe there's a spare pair on the twos or something that i can use but yeah um either way um one thing another difference that they have done here so on the 2022 not only did it have writing on the back tab and it doesn't on the fossil stone they also continued the quilting onto behind the tongue and they don't here so on a sizing perspective um my violet oars are a 12 and a half and these are a 12 so there is a difference and again as i say once i've tried on um i will put some comments on the sizing for these and i'm going to try them on relaced with the creams in so they won't have this like factory choke tight lace which i feel like a lot of people if they try something on for the first time and it has really really tight lacing from the factory and wherever it is um it can be a bit misleading in terms of the the actual size so last couple of bits for the video before we close out. So um, what I've decided to do this time is I'll put up um, on body vid uh, videos now, I'm trying these on. I'll just kind of talk a little bit as they run through. But I'm gonna do some full body and then I'm gonna do um, some just like up close version, just feet and leg so you can get both views. Um, so we'll, we'll let the full bodies play out um, and then I'm going to replace those full bodies, um, as I said, with um, same videos. I will just, in the editing process, I'm going to edit them to take a copy and then just show maybe like knee down to, to the foot. So you can also get that much closer view um, in terms of what they look like with different color pants. Because I have chosen to wear these with four different types of pants, uh, long uh, long pants. So um, I feel like when, I, when I'm wearing shorts, there's no point because all you're just seeing is like my legs. Uh, it doesn't really help. Um, so yeah, um, now we've gotten that out of the way. Um, I would say a rating out of 10. So I've just done my review on the Balvins, which I think I gave a 9.25. I would say this, they, I mean, they landed on the same day um, just to show like how much of a delay there has been making this. If the Balvin is a 9.25, I would give this maybe somewhere between an 8.75 and a 9. Um, I haven't tried them on, and I feel like the cream laces are really going to make this. So again, I'm saying um, 8.75 for now. I'll put in above my head um, my thoughts on that review if I need to overhaul that once I have tried them on with a fit with the cream laces in. Because for me... What makes a shoe is how it feels like when you're wearing it, not just like what it looks like when you've just taken it out of the box. So um, yeah, uh, that's that's kind of how, how I'll do it. Um, and then final thing before we close out. So the fit of the day. So today I have on the Georgetown 3s from a couple of years ago. Um, the um, Nate, uh, Midnight Navy, I want to say they're called. 
uh, rust colored koala utility cargo pants um, this white 021 essentials tee um, and then this cowboy's new era snap snapback um because it matches the the shoes um cool so yeah that's another video i really enjoyed making hopefully you've enjoyed watching it that's it from me over and out